Hello Divination and welcome. In today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to duplicate Elegant Themes primary menu with Divi. So without wasting a lot of time let's dive in and let me show you how to do this. Throughout this tutorial we'll be using some CSS and jQuery code. So if you'd like to follow along I will include the link to the post in the show notes below. So the first thing you want to do is to log into your WordPress dashboard. So over here, I mean my dashboard, come over here to appearance and then click on menu. Now what we want to do over here is to create a brand new menu. So I'm going to call my menu ET menu. Now you can go ahead and name your menu whatever name you'd like. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to come over here and click on create menu. Now the other thing that we need to make sure is selected is to make sure you come over here to screen options and make sure CSS classes is checked because later on we'll be create, uh, we'll be adding a CSS class. Okay, so now that uh, that is selected, I'm just going to close that for now. So the next thing we need to do now is to make sure that our menu is assigned to this ET menu. So let's come over here to manage locations and then on the primary menu. So what we're doing here is we're making sure that our primary menu gets assigned to the menu that we just created, which is called ET menu. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on save changes and then go back to edit menus. Now over here, we need to create some pages. So there's two ways to do this. You can either use pages that you already have on your website. So if we come over here on view all, we can see that we have home and sample page. So it's up to you. You could use this or you could create some custom links. So I'm going to go ahead and create some custom links. And to do that is quite straightforward. First of all, start with a URL. Now in my case here, I'm just going to use a blank URL. And then I'm going to come over here to my link text and then I'm going to call this about us. Now, once you're done typing the uh, link text, just click on add to menu and then it gets added to this menu. So go ahead, add a few pages. So I've added all my pages and I'm pretty much happy with what I've created here. So let's go on to join to download because this is the link which we're going to add our call to action. So I'm just going to toggle this and then come over here to CSS classes and then we're going to add this class join today underscore button. And then once you've done uh, once you've done that, just toggle it back and then save this menu. Now, if we take a look at our website, we should see that we have this menu structure on our website. So I'm just going to open this by creating a, opening a new tab and we can see here these are our links. OK, so the next step now is to style our join to download call to action. So the first thing we're going to do here is to change the menu text size. So to do that, I'm going to come over here to Divi theme customizer. Then I'm going to come over here to header and navigation, click on primary menu bar. And then we're just going to make one change over here. And that is the text size. We need to set it to 15. So I'm just going to drag it once and then we can see it's made a slight change. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and click on save and publish. OK, so the next step is to add our CSS. So there's two ways to do this. You can either do it here by coming uh, over here to the customizer and clicking on additional CSS. So I'm just going to paste it here. And we can see straight away on the top right, this has, this CSS has been applied and we can see what's happening here to our button. So this is the first place that you can add it. Or if you prefer doing it a different way, we can just exit out of this, come over here to Divi, click on theme options and then scroll all the way down until you get to custom CSS. And this is the other place that you can add it. But I prefer how I did it the first time because doing it that way, just makes it easier for me to visualize the changes that I'm making that are taking place. So the final step now is to add the additional color change and pulse animation to the button when scrolling down to certain points of the page. Now this additional functionality draws further attention to the call to action as the user engages with the content. So this jQuery code needs to go to the head section of our website. So I'm going to come over here back to theme options and then I'm going to click on integration. So what you need to do is to just make sure you're adding this code on the head section. So I'm going to click here and paste my jQuery code and then I'm going to go ahead and save the changes. So that's it. So if I come over here to my website, I'm just going to refresh the page. Okay, so we can see here our button is showing and if I mouse over it, 
you can see that uh, the color is changing. And then if I scroll down, you can see that we have this drop shadow here, which keeps our focus here on this call to action button. And now, if you notice, if I put my mouse over this button here, the button now has changed. But if I, if I mouse over it we, without scrolling up, you can see that it remains pink. But as soon as I scroll up, the button color changes. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we produce a video. We are going to be producing more videos similar to what you're seeing today. So until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.